the ring march. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our feet into the ring or the suspension trainer like so. Okay, notice how at the, the height of the rings are going to be about six to eight inches off the ground. That way we have some clearance for our toes. Okay, so I'm going to go into a push-up position here. Notice how my belly is tucked underneath. I don't want to be sagging below like that, letting my hips fall. All right, I'm getting my lower abs engaged. Next, I'm going to extend my elbows, all right, and slowly march through the range of motion here. Notice how I don't let my back leg sag. I want to extend my back leg like so, all right, making sure that I stay nice and tight through the movement. Ring hip flexion. So keeping our feet into the rings in the same position, okay, we get into our push-up position here, but this time we're going to bring both of our knees up at the same time. Notice how I return back to the starting position and my, step, my hips are still high, I'm not letting them sag, okay? And I want to bring my knees to the point where they just pass the hip crease. The ring hip pike. So what we're going to do is we get into our position, okay? And now this time I'm going to pull my hips up towards the ceiling. Notice how as I pull my hips up to the ceiling, my knees don't bend, okay? I want to make sure that, that as I come up, I don't start to lose tightness through my lower quarters. All right, I wanna stay nice and tight so that I can really use my, <clears throat> my lower abs to pull my hips up towards the ceiling. Now to make this exercise and all the exercise more difficult, what we can do is we can introduce a BOSU. So now the BOSU is gonna create some sort of upper body instability that I need to now control. So again, I'm not gonna hold the BOSU here, I'm actually gonna hold it by the side, get myself into the position, and execute my movements. Now in any of these positions, if the wrists are bothering you, one easy solution you can use is you can use handles or you can even use dumbbells. I prefer the block dumbbells because they won't roll, okay, but something where I can keep more of like a neutral grip as opposed to getting so much wrist extension. So it's going to look just like this. So I keep my wrist nice and neutral as I go through the range of motions.